been opposing this. My political party has been opposing this, that violence only breeds more violence. I'm against military operations. I'm against the U.S. occupation of Afghanistan. It is, all it's doing is radicalizing Pakistanis. It's radicalizing people in Afghanistan. It is a failed strategy. It is led by the generals in the U.S. It's not led by the politicians. And generals always do what generals do, have done in history, as in Vietnam. They kept demanding more troops as if there's some military solution to it, killing more civilians, turning more people against themselves, losing the battle for hearts and minds. You will win the battle against terrorism if you win the hearts and minds of the people from where the terrorists operate from. If you lose that battle, they become freedom fighters. And it's a never-ending war. And history tells us that when you fight a population, you're going to lose. Talk to them. Speak to the people. Get them across the table. It's a political settlement. This will, issue will be settled politically, not through guns and bombs. Faith has actually nothing to do with this. Because a Muslim, but it's not because of religion he's fighting. It's for a foreign occupation he's fighting. But he's, he, when he fights, then he uses religious terminology. Because basically the religion says, fight against injustice, fight against oppression. So therefore, once he fights, he perceives it to be oppression. And therefore, the, 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 the solution does not lie in some moderate Islam. Solution lies in politics.